All right, it is time to do turn five <coughs> early lovers. Let's see what we got. So, that was successful. That one was successful. All right, there's no enemy commanders. So, those province with the. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I got this farmland, which is nice. With minimal losses. They were kind of brave, though. Okay. So, that was easy. And then, of course, got them. Oh, I, oh yeah, no, he had that. Never mind. Sorry. So, I think... I think there's only going to be three commanders here, so that should be relatively easy to deal with. Um, more barbarians in this province, so I'm going to go ahead and move there. Um, okay, I'm going to recruit this guy to start putting a um, fort here. And for a ball champion, wait, I can't recruit him. Seriously? Weird. Is there a cheaper commander? Not really. I think I'd rather have him for 40 gold because the stats are good at least. You can put some stuff on him maybe and make him useful. Um, hmm. Assassinate, assassinate. These guys will sneak over here. Things are going pretty well, I would say. Um, hmm, this is where it gets tricky. Do this, and then... Let's see, that will be... Eleven, fourteen, or no, fifteen, guys. That should be enough for some, for some expansion. I might have them go out here and then get these territories, and then start slowly moving my dudes or my assassins onto this province because this one's got quite a bit of stuff. But, um. I wonder if there's elephants on this province and it's just not telling me. That would be annoying. So far expansion is going good. We already have five provinces. One, two, three, four, five on turn five. So um keeping pace. As long as I get more than um if I get 15 or more, I will be happy. I will be happy with 15 or more. I would really like this cave province. These cave provinces are nice on Abyssia because your troops are low recruitment cost and they need a lot of resources, which caves fit the bill for that. And there's more magic sites, which is always welcome as Abyssia. Um, so here's Zabulba down here. Um, Zabulba might be a rush target for me. A consideration. Because um, their sacreds are strong, but they don't come out till a little bit later. It, it gives a, it takes them a second to get it. And their early magic is actually kind of centered around um, like buffing and maybe some fire magic. Um, sorry, somebody messaged me. Okay. Um, and his troops are really, really low health, so you, what you can end up doing, and they don't hit very hard, what you can end up doing is, um, creating the flail infantry and just absolutely mulch them. If you recruit nothing but flail inf infantry, you will absolutely decimate Zabulba. Um, just because they don't tend to have the hitting power to get through your protection and, um, they're 
and they they die, they die on one swing and you have an attack density of six per square with the flail infantry which is absolutely insane um so yeah i might consider rushing them and plus they they naturally want heat so um your troops do better and they don't even have um fire resistance natively so that's cool good stuff um Zabulba is one of those nations that gets really annoying <coughs> late game just because their summons are so strong so um yeah that might be a rush target for us to consider so as i figure out what who my neighbors are speaking of which is there any provinces with scouts wait do you have stealthy you do not okay none of <laughs> well as soon as i get this territory i'll start recruiting these guys as scouts you can use these uh what it, these chieftains as uh scouts and i can recruit them there so i think that's what i'm gonna end up doing it's a little bit pricey for scouts but like i don't have another option available to me so it's the best i got um I think that's everything. Maybe the hey, there's these guys. Nobody made a bid on them. That's not um, entirely um, surprising. Is it worth 100? Nah, it's not worth 108 gold. You kidding me? I need I need to get this fort up pronto. So um, yeah, I'll recruit this guy. And I'll build a fort. Yeah. Okay. So what I think I'm going to end up doing is, after I recruit these two guys, I think I'm going to recruit one of these guys just to move over there to build a, a temple and a lab and then just start recruiting warlocks for the rest of the game. I think that's going to be my game plan. I have enough demon breads. Um, hopefully, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, all six of them live so I can use them for, like assassinations during sieges and stuff but if I lose one or two that's not a super big deal um so yeah that's that's the game plan all right I think that's everything I probably talked your ear off so we're gonna go ahead and end it and I'll see you next time